Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, sorry it's been a while since my last update post. I've been trying to work out my scheduling for all of our social media and business developments, of which we've got some really big news coming up and that I'm really looking forward to sharing over the coming weeks. So on to today's video. Many of you will remember the large Desert Africa Corps commission I've been working on for a client. A large part of the collection has been completed and sent back to the client as he had a Tank Wars tournament, I believe, and uh, needed some of the models back. Uh, but I thought I'd show you some of these pieces, and I've got some still photographs, which I'll also add at the end of the video. All of these models, I believe, are from Warlord Games. The figures and guns are all metal, and the Panzer fours and half tracks are plastic kits. I often get asked what colours I use for Africa Core armour and it's normally a mix of Iraqi Sand and Desert Yellow by Vallejo, although the earlier variants, um, I think Green Brown is is accurate, more accurate. Um, but yeah, like I say, Iraqi Sand and Desert Yellow is my, my standard and this force is um, set to cover the entire period so I, I went with those, with those colours. Um, let's face it, colours varied throughout the desert conflict and no tank ever looked the same after just a few weeks in the desert. So really you should feel comfortable varying your shades, there's no right or wrong answer. I really like these Pac-36 and 7.5cm infantry gun. I play a lot of chain of command and the infantry gun in particular is a brilliant addition to your German armies. The sandbags are a nice addition provided by the customer as he wanted the guns to have an entrenched look. I think they look really cool. I think one of the nicest things about being a commission painter is knowing that the work you produce is going to feature in games and display cabinets around the world. I feel really passionate about providing a service and knowing that your works bring joy to others. Well, that's what it's all about really. I also love history and painted miniatures is just another brilliant medium for us to explore and talk about history. The Panzer IV tank uh, at the back there uh, uh, were a staple of German armoured forces during World War II and they hold a prominent place in military history as one of the most versatile and widely, widely produced tanks of its time. Designed as a medium tank by German engineers in the late 1930s, the Panzer IV underwent numerous upgrades and modifications throughout its service life, evolving to meet the changing demands of the battlefield. Uh, these two have the shorter variant of the 75mm gun. And here we have some of my favourite military history figures. These are the tropical Falschenjäger miniatures. I think they're some of the best metal sculpts Warlord games do actually. A couple of the models have their camouflage smocks and poses and ammunition crates, pouches. I don't know, I think they just have a really good look and lots of detailing. I always enjoy painting these. Now, I might be wrong, but I don't believe this model actually took part in the African campaign. Pretty sure it's the SD KFZ 234, essentially an armoured car with a Pac-40 mounted on top. It's a cool model though, and the client wanted it as part of his DAC collection, and this is currently on the painting table, so I'm just waiting on the rust and oil streaks to dry, and then we'll move on to uh, onto the tyres and the stowage. Uh, as mentioned, quite a lot of the models have been shipped back already to the client, so I've added some stills for you to take a look. Thanks for checking in on our channel though, and as mentioned we have lots of news coming up, so keep an eye out for our announcements in the coming weeks. Uh, take care for now though, and we'll see you at the next one. Thank you very much.